So it's been getting pretty cold at night, and it's only been in the you know mid to high 40s during the day today. So I covered this you know yesterday evening before it got dark, uh, just to keep the the newly poured concrete a little bit warmer. Uh, that's what you want to do in cold weather. You don't want it to freeze while it's curing, and when it's kind of cooler weather, it takes much longer for the concrete to cure. The good news is about it curing like this is it. Um, it cures more slowly and it gets much stronger in the long run than it would if it was curing in really hot temperatures or really dry conditions. So the fact that it's been cool and humid and a little bit slightly rainy is actually a good thing for the long-term strength of the concrete. The only issue is you just don't want to let it freeze overnight. You don't want to let it get so cold that it stops curing. Anything below 50 degrees is not very good for it. So the fact that it's in the mid-40s right now isn't great, but hopefully it's warmer under the tarp. Uh, with a little bit of sun on it, uh, even though it's cool outside. Hopefully it's warm enough in there to keep it curing at a low temperature and it's staying humid there. So let's take a look underneath. So I'm going to lift off this wood here. Let's see, and the nice thing is it's still really kind of moist. A little bit of still dark and moist and curing slowly, which is a great thing. It'll be nice and hard that way. I've got a thermometer I stuck under here as well to see what kind of temperature it's staying at. And let's see what it says. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it's staying at um, a good 60 degrees, which is just what we want. That's actually really ideal. So I'm going to leave this tarp on and just kind of monitor this temperature once in a while just to make sure it's not getting too hot. Uh, but actually the fact that it's 60 degrees in there is great because it's right now probably only 50 degrees outside. So it's adding about 10 degrees of warmth having this tarp over it. So it's also keeping the humidity in so it doesn't dry out too much. You can kind of see the concrete's a little bit wet because it was raining yesterday and there's a little bit of water on the surface of the concrete, which is a great thing. You want it to stay moist while the concrete's curing. We poured this concrete on Saturday, starting at about 11 o'clock a.m. and had it all you know in place by about 12.30. And, um, and today is Monday been at least two days, 48 hours, since this concrete was poured, and it's staying at a nice 60 degrees temperature, which is pretty much ideal. You want it anywhere between 50 or 60 degrees ideally for curing. You can't always control that if you're in a hot environment. You have to keep water on it to keep it cool, but if you're having anything that gets above 60, the hotter it gets above 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the weaker the concrete will be in the long run, according to the, the studies and the uh, information I read. So the fact that it's 60 degrees underneath this tarp right now and moist is perfect environment for the concrete to be the hardest it possibly can be. So moist is good while it's curing. You want to let it do its initial set before spraying a bunch of water in it. So you don't, of course, you want it to set, you know, for several hours at least before you put any water on it. But it, it rained on it a little bit yesterday, so this concrete is still nice and moist and the sun's out. And even though it's only 50 degrees outside, it's 60 degrees under the tarp, and that's that's nice. It will keep it warm, and that will give it a little bit of residual heat so that tonight when it gets... Tonight it's supposed to get down to about 20 degrees, so it's going to get really cold tonight. So the, I'm glad it's nice and warm right now so that later tonight it will stay above freezing and cure slowly with the moisture. So oh, here's the finished concrete. It's been curing for oh, at least a week now. And uh, we, yeah, we poured it last Saturday and it's, yeah, it's at least a week and a few days. So what you're supposed to do with concrete is let it cure at kind of lower temperatures. And right now it's November and it's an un unusually warm day in November for where I live. It's about 60 degrees today, which is pretty warm for November. So this fall we had some nice warm weather, which allowed us to pour the concrete because it wasn't getting below freezing for a few nights there. Um, but concrete actually is stronger when it cures at lower temperatures. If you let it cure when the highs are only around, you know, 60 and the lows are in the 40s or 50s at night, that's actually ideal for concrete. And you're actually supposed to keep it moist while it's curing too, so it will be have a stronger, um, stronger final cure, final set will be stronger if it's moist and, and not too hot while it's setting up. So anyway, we've got this done, and now with these cracks here, I'm going to seal it up with a little bit of caulk to make sure that water doesn't leak between where I added the driveway and I don't want the water to seep in and then freeze and expand in the winter time to cause cracking and you know potential fractures in the concrete so 
but I'm happy with how it turned out. It looks nice. We got a nice step there uh, to lead up to the rock wall and got a little extra space for parking and um, pretty small space for a small car, motorcycle, or maybe ATV or something that could park right here. But anyway, then we added a little bit on that side too. So it's nice to have a little extra space and save some money doing it myself. It was a lot of work though. I probably still would have paid someone to do it, but uh, all the contractors, the building market is so busy right now that all the cement contractors were so busy they wouldn't even return my calls. So just decided to do it myself and put some nice rebar in there. I had a, a good friend who knows how to do it. So it turned out nice. We got a good result. It looks dark gray right now because I just sprayed a little bit of water on it. Um, even though it's been curing for about a week, you know, I'm still kind of watering the concrete or keeping it a little bit moist just so it doesn't dry out too much while it's still setting. Concrete takes a long time to actually fully set and so you know there's ways to keep it moist. We had to we had we left tarps on this side of the concrete for like two or three days when the days were cooler and in the high temperatures several days ago were only in the 40s. It was like the high was 40 degrees during the day or 45 degrees during the day. So tarp also helped keep moisture on the concrete so that as it cured it would be stronger and not uh, be as prone to breaking or cracking. So concrete probably will crack. It probably will develop some cracks over the years, but anything you can do to make it strong is, is good. You know, if you look at those studies they do online of curing concrete, uh, when you cure at lower temperatures, you know, any, in the temperature range of, you know, 50 to 70 degrees is good. Anything hotter than that, you want to keep water on it to keep it cool. Um, and you don't want it to get below 40 ideally, but uh, it's hard to it's hard to control the weather, so you can't always control those factors. But you can do things to help in the hot, in the heat of the summer keep water on it to keep it cool, and in the, in the cold weather, if you pour like I did in the fall, and it gets below freezing at night, you just put a blanket or a tarp on it. It will keep it a little bit warmer and keep the moisture on it on during the day too. 